Hello, and for International Men's Day in 2021, I want to present this video, something a little different. I want to remember the deeds of one man from Blackburn's history, John Baines, the owner and the manager of the Sicily Bridge Mill in Blackburn. Now, we encountered John in an early video when we looked at a picture from our Skill and Labour Gallery, but I wanted to revisit his story. John Baines was born in Lancaster and he moved to Blackburn as a young man where he started to work in his, his uncle's uh, cotton mill. He learned the cotton business, starting at the bottom, learning all the different aspects of the trade and eventually he was appointed manager of Park Place Mills. Finally, he became a partner in the firm. But around the year 1848, when he would have been in his mid-30s, John's career took a different turn. He retires from that business and instead he started to build his own mill, the Sicily Bridge Mill in Audley. And he eventually built up a very successful business. At the same time, John clearly had a strong sense of civic duty and he took an active part in forming the 5th Lancashire Artillery Volunteers. And the only picture we have of John is this painted picture where he's wearing the artillery volunteers uniform. John entered politics and he served for a long time as the councillor for Park Ward, becoming the mayor of Blackburn in 1858. So, good times. The Victorian ideal of hard work being rewarded by great success. However, it is hard times lean and troubled times that were to show the true measure of this man. By the time John had finished his time as mayor, clouds were beginning to gather around the cotton industry. It was boom times in Blackburn, but in America, the tensions that would lead to the American Civil War were beginning to show. When that war began, all exports of the US cotton on which the Lancashire mills depended, stopped. Now the mill owners had had foresight and had stockpiled cotton in advance of the war, but by late 1861, that's running out. And this time is known to history as the Lancashire Cotton Famine. Now, brutally, no work Sorry, no cotton meant no work. No work meant no money. And no money meant that the people of Blackburn faced the bleak prospect of starvation. During the cotton famine, John Baines had joined the Central Relief Committee and he dug deep into his own pockets and contributed over £1,000 of his own money. That's in excess of £40,000 in today's money to the local fund and this money was used to buy food for the people of the town. At the same time, and I think this is remarkable, he ran his mills at a loss. By This meant he kept his workforce employed even though he had no or very little work to give them. Now this incredibly generous act meant that none of his workforce went hungry at a time when cotton workers in other towns faced starvation. However, John's generosity meant that he ran out of money and this act pushed him to the verge of bankruptcy. Ultimately, he was able to avoid losing his business by compounding with his creditors. What was his response? Well, John was undeterred by these events. Instead, true to form, he worked tirelessly to rebuild his business. And it was this relentless hard work that led to his early death. His health broke down and John Baines died on the 2nd of October, 1873, at the early age of 59. I'll close with this picture of John's grave in Blackburn Old Cemetery. John Baines, 
a man of transparent integrity, who a man who was tested by events and not found wanting. I do hope you've enjoyed this video, something a bit different. If you have, don't forget to tune in again for more Tales from the Collection. Goodbye.